Our number three alliance has made their way to the finals. We'll find out now who will join them. It's either number five in red or number two in blue. All square just about as we get through the beginning of the autonomous period. 50 to 44 in favor of blue. Alliance number two has the advantage here. And the driver's now at the controls and the scoring will commence heavy duty. 360 and 1540 taking turns, putting algae in the red net. Now come Miso. They're gonna aim for some as well. The Blue Alliance also trying to handle the net and it's 9450, the Velocity Raptors, who take that next shot. Blue Alliance continuing to hold their lead, but a minute and 45 seconds is plenty of time for all of that to change. The Miso Mechanics, 9442, absolutely slamming Coral through their feeder station onto the floor for their robot to pick up. And they barely need to move to grab that next one before they put it on level three of their reef and put four more points on the board. For the Blue Alliance, it is chill out. The smoothest robot you're ever gonna see making their way back for more coral now swinging around to the front. That goes on level two for three points. 948 works on level one and NRG adds a couple points to the Blue Alliance score as well. 149 to 128, the Blue Alliance has the advantage. Red Alliance pivoting from their previous strategies and having all three robots stay on their end of the field. 360, the Revolution cannot connect with the layup and that algae comes out. They'll go recollect it and try again. Miso mechanics keep working on the reef. Flaming chickens, meanwhile, have quietly but efficiently been shuttling coral back and forth from that front side coral station to the reef, and they are helping their alliance hang in there. Just 35 seconds to play, and a 25-point advantage for Blue as our real-time scores update. Blue Alliance Reef nearing capacity, Red Alliance Reef not far behind it, and all the algae has been scored, so it's coral and cages the rest of the way. Here comes 360, here comes 9450, the Revolution and the Raptors gonna try to climb their cages. NRG there as well. Flaming Chickens come in looking for a cage. Three seconds left, who will get there? And as the buzzer sounds, we see what looks to be two robots from each alliance in the air. But we'll let our final call happen in just a few moments. Scores and finalists coming your way in just a bit. And in the meantime, while we think through our scores and let our referees tally things up, our good friend Kevin Ross has the Sonic Squirrels downfield side. So I'm standing here with Charlotte, uh, one of the Sonic Squirrels. You guys have just been having an amazing season. How's it feel? It feels great. We're really happy with how we're doing. Yeah. And, and uh, did you have expectations uh, of, of getting this far today? I mean, I can't say we were expecting it. Um, we're really happy with how we're doing. As you said earlier, luck is a combination of skills and being in the right place at the right time. And I feel like we re we've really gotten our systems dialed in recently. Um, so all of that has contributed to getting to here. And we're really proud of how we're doing today. Outstanding. Thanks so much for talking to you. Good luck in your next match. Thank you so much. All right, back to Brett. Thank you, Kevin. And with that, we do have the scores ready for our final lower bracket match. Let's take a look. Blue Alliance takes it home. Our number two seed will move on to the finals. 253 to 219. Blue Alliance is going to play the number three alliance in our finals, but as you are applauding, please keep it up for our departing number five seeded alliance in red. Alliance captains 1540, the Flaming Chickens. Their alliance